So Aaron and I are meta contrarians, and we're going to prove it. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to lay out some things that we think need some signal correction. Some yeah, things some, are where, where some just, shit that I'm tired of hearing, <laughs> just garbage. Just total nonsense, mindless garbage that the sheep repeat over and over again. They incorporate it in their worldview uncritically. Time to signal correct, motherfuckers. <laughs> Obviously, the first thing that comes to mind off the top of my head, just my biggest bone to pick, is Comic Sans MS is a fun font. It is a font for kids. And this shit, like, you can, you can get upvoted on Reddit posting a picture of someone used Comic Sans MS at the office. You post another note in your Times New Roman or something being like, Comic Sans is bad. You get a million upvotes. Fuck you all. Yeah, you know what? Times New Roman is shitty. Yeah, I'm above I, I don't like that. Serif. Serif. The, like, Ariel is Sans Serif. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but terrible. I... I think actually all fonts with a serif with the little uh, lines, people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ariel. Ariel and Comic Sans are where it's at, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I'm not saying that Comic Sans is an everyday thing, you know, like you shouldn't write your book report in Comic Sans necessarily, but I'm not sure that we should have a society that docks marks for making your, like, if someone is so not hip to internet culture that they're putting in their title of their book is in Comic Sans MS on the cover of their book. I don't think we should judge the contents of that book or the author based on their choice to use Comic Sans MS. And the Comic Sans MS hate is getting out of control. You yeah. pointed out the office things. Like, you'll just see a picture. It's like, please clean up the coffee maker when you're done with it. And Little it'll be smiley in Comic face. Sans. Yeah, Comic yeah. Sans. It's and a that, fun that, that, family font. That, that's a good place to use Comic Sans. Like, yeah. I could see how a whole book, yeah, it might get a little tiresome. But a sign, that's ideal. Ideal time to use Comic Sans. Totally. When I first got MSN Messenger when I was 13 or 14, yeah, the font I used was Comic Sans MS. <laughs> it's a fun font, kind of shows who I am. And I used, it was a blue font, and that was for role-playing, because my character had blue hair, if, if you must know. You, you had a character on MSN Messenger? Oh, yeah, big time. Like you weren't For role-playing. No, I mean, I used it for talking to my friends also, but I also did role-playing. It was mediated originally via Neopets, if you must know. <laughs> <laughs> and my character, who is named Crash, if you must know, had blue hair, if you must know. And that's why I had blue Comic Sans MS font. What are you going to do about it? Make a fucking Times New Roman sign that points to me and calls me an idiot? I was a child. Why don't you grow up? It's a fun font for kids. It's a fun font for, fun font for adults. Why do we hate kid-like things for yeah, adults? It's a fun what, font wrong? for the kid and all of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the, the part of our psyche that's still in touch with the deepest parts of our nature. That's what Comic Sans is about. Yeah, Comic Sans is it's like a connection to the mother. By placing yourself as a child, you're invoking the spirit of the mother above you and above your work and bringing that to all the people who will see your work. And so it's, it's really a noble, no, quite a noble font. Mm. Comic Sans MS is a very important font. <laughs>